We appreciate you uh, sitting down. It was obviously in one tour. Are you still? Is there still energy right now? What yeah, I got energy. I don't. I don't want. I don't feel like sitting, man. I feel like turning up a little bit. So, you know, it's hard to sit right now. No doubt, it was a hard fought win for you tonight. I mean, how, how did you feel in there? How did you feel about your performance? Um, I feel like it wasn't a split. I thought it was unanimous. I didn't feel like he landed anything on me beside those two takedowns. Um, I wanted to go for the finish, but this whole week I've been kind of fighting a cold, and usually in the in the third round I can really push. I got good cardio, but I felt a little bit of a burn in my lungs, so I got a little bit more tired than usual. But at the same time, I shouldn't have left it in the hands of the judges. I felt like if I pushed harder, I could have got the finish. But no question that illness affected you a little bit. Ah, uh, you know, I could have pushed harder. You know, it's not, I wasn't deathly, but you know what I mean. You, you you feel the burn a little bit. When did you start coming down? With this um, as soon as I came, I came. I, when did we fly down? We came down. I think. Uh, Tuesday, I was sneezing, you know, I asked my nutritionist to give me some vitamin C and, you know, I was taking all of oregano and it kind of suppressed it, you know what I mean? But uh, I didn't really feel the cold until the, the second, third round. My lungs were burning a little bit more than, more than usual. But at the same time, he was a tough guy and, uh, you know, I was expecting a tough fight, but, uh, you know, what going to happen? All right, why didn't you push harder? Why not? What, what, what held you back today? Um, you know, I was trying to push harder, but, you know, he... Uh, he fought a bit differently than I thought he was going to fight. He was actually running back a lot. He wasn't engaging. I thought we were going to have a war, so I was prepared for that. But I think once he felt my power, he, he knew the best thing to do was kind of, you know, play the, the cat and mouse game and try and get his points in instead of trying to stand in front of me. You know what I mean? Were you worried going into the fight about this cold? No, you know, I wasn't even thinking about the cold, actually. It wasn't until... Uh, you know, third round, my lungs are burning. I didn't even mention it to my corner. You know, we're fighting. The last thing I'm going to do is bring up a cold. But, you know, now that the fight's over with, I'm, I'm coughing, <clears throat> I'm sneezing. You know what I mean? I feel a little bit of a phlegm. But, you know, it's worth it in the end. I'm feeling good. Post-fight, you said uh, you kind of made reference to Kyle saying that he was more battle-tested than you. Did that bother you when you heard those comments of him saying Yeah, it did bother me. You know, battle-tested. You know, who was the run running tonight? You know what I mean? He, he said I wasn't battle-tested. You know, and my overall... Uh, fights in my whole career including you know kickboxing and Muay Thai this is my 67th fight tonight you know and I'm a lot more battle tested than him and I proved it tonight you know I wasn't gonna back up tonight I wasn't gonna run and uh, you know he's tough but I'm tougher he's gritty I'm more gritty you know what I mean so I just proved that tonight you know toughness isn't enough he spent time at TriStar for this camp do you think that's why he's a little bit more passive because they you know they're, they're very game plan oriented sometimes that can turn into not a very great fight um, you know, maybe, but I also think uh, when he tasted some of my power, he, he realized, you know, he's got to change battle tactics. I think that was a big part of it. If you, if you see the first round, he felt my right hand, and it made him change his attitude a little bit. You feel comfortable in the octagon now. You had the debut that didn't go your way. Then you find your hometown. Now you're in Toronto. I know you never fought here, but are you feeling comfortable now? Yes, I am definitely starting to feel comfortable. You know, it's crazy. It's my third UFC fight in one year. Um, I feel like by my next fight, after I heal up, you know, get my shoulders all healed up, you'll see the old me that came back and I'll get back to my knockout ways. I'm not really happy with my performance. I feel like I'm a lot better than that and I should have got the knockout, but I promise you my next fight, you'll see the old me Nakeem and I'll be putting these guys away again. Despite missing out on the finish tonight, I mean, did this moment mean a lot to you? I mean, like you said, you're early in your UFC career. Here you're on a, a main card or the pay-per-view on a, on a big event. I mean, did it mean something to you? Oh, it meant a lot to me. You know what I mean? I, I, never, I didn't think I was going to be on, you know, pay-per-view main card this early. So I made sure I made the most of it. I didn't want it to play into my game plan, but this this win meant a lot. I feel like I got a lot of exposure. I feel like a lot more fans are going to see me. Um, in my next fight, I'd like to maybe get an international fight, maybe something like Australia or Brazil, you know, China, just something, and just keep getting my name out there and getting more exposure and climbing up the ranks. How quick do you want to get back? I'm sure you want to enjoy the holidays a little bit. but. Um, I honestly, I'm just going to get a little bit PRP on my shoulders, you know, let them heal up. You know, a lot of people don't know, but my last three fights I've fought in a little bit of, uh, you know, stuff that hasn't been healing up. So, uh, you know, give me about four months and you'll see me again. Uh, in your first UFC fight, you trained at SPG. Is the plan to do any cross training going forward or are you happy just having home base? No, definitely. Uh, definitely I'm going to be doing some cross training. You know, I've, I've been to SPG. I've uh, trained down in New Jersey with Mark Henry and all those guys. So. Uh, you know, talk to my management, talk to my coaches, and it's it's always good to get a couple different looks. And uh, you know, and just I'm, I'm still young in my MMA career, so I'm just always looking to improve. I feel like I haven't hit my full potential yet. Did it help having two teammates uh, have t uh, fights the week before the Rise FC card? Did, did that help at all heading into your fight? 
definitely, you know what I mean? It's nice to, you know, my, my uh, one of my main training partners, Chad Allinger, you know, the monster. He won the title, you know what I mean? We're on a roll, you know, uh, you know, Andrew fought for a title. It, it didn't go his way, but, you know, it, it's nice when people uh, on the team are fighting as well and everybody's got the same uh, mind frame and, you know, working hard. So, you know, I feel like uh, right now I'm, I'm leading the pack and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to represent the best I can. Are you celebrating tonight? I know your uh, girlfriend made the fight tonight. How am I celebrating? Um, I'm gonna have a few drinks today. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I haven't drank for a while. Um, you know, I'm gonna drink. You know, maybe find a nice club. Let's do some hip hop music, dance, throw in a few gold chains, and you know, just enjoy the city. It's my first time in Toronto, so I want to see what it uh, has to offer. Would you like to come back to Toronto again? I definitely come back to Toronto. You know, it's nice out here. It's very multicultural. You know what I mean? I feel a lot of. I felt a lot of support. Like when I came out, I felt like it was the same entrance when I was fighting in Calgary, so, you know, it was loud, I felt the energy, so I definitely like it out here, I definitely come back. Do you like staying this active, three fights a year, is that what you want to look forward? I wanted four fights a year, to be honest with you, but, you know, I'm just going to, you know, like I said, get a few, uh, let my shoulders heal up, and, uh, you know, be back on a roll, and uh, next year I'll get four fights in. Was there less, less pressure this time out, not fighting in Calgary? Um, there's always pressure, you know, I always feel uh, pressure when I fight because I, I never want to lose, you know, I've only lost once and, uh, you know, I got one fight left on my contract, we'll get that fight out the way and on my new contract I'd like to revenge that uh, that one loss I have blemishing my, uh, my record right now. Do you plan to re-sign for that last fight or will you fight with your contract? Um, I like uh, I got to talk to my management and see what's the best move for me right now, and I'll go from there. And I think it's safe to say you want to stay with the UFC because it took a lot for you to get to the UFC. I know with all the contracts and everything. Definitely, I want to stay at the UFC. It's the it's the number one league. It's the league to be. You know what I mean? Um, they're treating me very nice. They're keeping me active. You know, the last league I was in, I wasn't too active. I was fighting maybe once a year, twice a year. So, you know, the UFC is where I want to stay right now. I'm making this my home, and I'm getting comfortable. And you haven't seen the best me to Keem yet, you know, I'm only getting better. Do you feel like with these back-to-back -back wins, uh, fans have completely forgot about that upset loss in your debut? Um, you know, uh, you know, when you only have one loss, I feel like, you know, everybody just looks at that one weakness and that one little blemish on your record. So, if, you know, of course there's going to be a few haters out there, a few people, um, you know, that are going to remember that because that's all they can look at. That's the, that's the only, you know, loss I've had. So, you know, I'm not really worried about that. Obviously, I'm on a new stride. I'm back to being the old Mina Keem, and I will avenge that loss, but right now I'm just looking to go nothing but up. You said you, in 2019, you plan to get back to your knockout ways. What, what do you have to do to do that? Is it just a matter of getting the experience in the UFC and becoming more and more comfortable? It's about being healthy, making sure that I'm healed up, and yeah, just, just being confident again. You know, I got my confidence back. I now know what I'm uh, capable of. You know, I was expecting a tough fight tonight, and uh, you know, I came through basically flawless besides them saying it was a split decision and you know now that my uh, my mindset's right you know I got my coach with me um yeah you'll, you'll see the old mini team and a lot more finishes now John John Cavanaugh was here this week for bracket Tony did you talk to him at all just because you had training in the past oh for sure we're in the same uh, change room um you know obviously my UFC debut I had that that one loss so I promised him tonight you know now that I'm I'm winning and he's here, we'll get to have our drink together because I didn't get to have that drink with him last time because, you know, I was a little bit salty over the loss. But tonight I'm going to have that drink with him and uh, drink some Irish whiskey and, you know, just turn up. Did you catch Brad Katona's performance, another Canadian like yourself, looking really good these days? Yeah, he looked really good. I, I actually didn't think it was a decision. I thought it was a submission, to be honest. The guy looked out, you know, uh, congrats to him, and he's, he's looking really good, and he's an up-and-comer. And, you know, Canada, the new wave of Canadians are coming through right now. Do you have any more cold remedies? I'm asking for a friend. Um, oil of oregano, um, you know what I mean? Hot peppers, you know, up your vitamin C, zinc, magnesium, calcium. That's all I've been doing right now. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks.